dates earliest history, secret societies such as the Freemasons and the Odd Fellows have existed. Their rituals, symbols, and secret handshakes have offered an endless source of fascination and speculation for the uninitiated. Now, according to a small but growing number of conspiracy theorists, these purportedly benign institutions are part of a sinister plot. contend that the world is a web controlled by one spider, the Illuminati, that disseminates a globalist agenda through a network of secret societies. The inner circle of the web is made up of three organizations. The Bilderberg Group, the uh, Council on Foreign Relations and the Trilateral Commission have an interlocking leadership. The head of the World Bank, James Wolfensohn, is a member of this network. There's something extremely dangerous and alluring about the combination of secrecy and world ambition. What could be more threatening than a group that is in the shadows and trying to dominate your life? The action. There's no greater example of the way the Council on Foreign Relations has manipulated history than looking at the profound effect that the United Nations has had on the world and its agencies and the United Nations is with us because of the Council on Foreign Relations. A committee of the Council on Foreign Relations wrote the proposal, they handed it to Roosevelt and he um, then announced it as if it was his policy. At the first meeting in San Francisco to launch the United Nations, 74 of the American delegation were members of the Council on Foreign Relations. It is this group conspiracists contend that from its founding has also pulled the strings of an American war machine. Further proof of the group's influence according to Mars comes in 1980 when Ronald Reagan, who is not a member of the Council on Foreign Relations or the Trilateral Commission, runs for president. And he pledged in New Hampshire that if elected he would investigate these secret societies. He also said that he would never accept the secret society member George Bush as a member of his administration. So he rushes into the National Convention late at night, very unprecedented, and says, I choose George Bush as my running mate. So George Bush, the secret society man, is now in the catbird seat. And then just a month or two after Reagan took office, he shot. If it wasn't for about that much, it would have hit his heart and George Bush would have been in years earlier. And when George Bush does become president, his State of the Union address in 1991 contains a three-word phrase that confirms for conspiracy advocates his secret globalist agenda. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. George Bush 